Welcome to Guide to Greatness brought to you by LinkedIn It to Win It. I'm your host Zara Sayeda with Emotional Intelligence Series Part 2. As we all know, emotional intelligence has five components self awareness, self regulation, motivation, empathy, and social skills. Today we'll be discussing about self awareness. If you are a food lover, you understand how the balance between salt, sugar, spices and herbs make our food delicious. In the same way, awareness of our thoughts, feelings and emotions make our lives meaningful. Let's see what our experts have to say today. Hi everyone, thank you Zara for the kind introduction and welcome to Guide to Greatness. On today's episode, we are going to discuss about the second part of emotional intelligence which is self-awareness. Let me share with you our quote, there are two important days in a person's life. The first day that the person was born and the second day when the person realizes the purpose of it. And to understand our purpose in life, we need to be self-aware of ourselves to know who we truly are. In our life, uh, usually we do get asked a question which career would you like to pursue? And sometimes we don't have a straightforward answer or sometimes we are really passionate about a particular career path but we are unable to make significant inroads or become successful. And what's the reason for that? Because we are not self-aware of which career we want to follow and how do we become successful in it. So in order to become self-aware of our personal and professional goal, what steps should we take? The first thing we can do is to list down our top three strengths and then see those strengths and see how do they impact the career I want to follow. Similarly, a very important part are the weaknesses. List down your weaknesses Start with the top three and then finalize the number one weakness that you would like to improve in order to be successful in that career. And then repeat this process. Start with one weakness and then try improving it day by day. And then once you have mastered it, then move on to the second one. This is how you would become more self-aware of yourself and that would lead to personal and professional success for you. So how do you become self-aware in your lives and how is it impacting you in your personal and professional life? Thank you so much and I am looking forward for your comments and thoughts on it. Bye-bye.